Thank from Maximum PC here at CES 2015. I'm here at Gigabyte's uh, Suite, speaking with Leon. And, hey uh, and Leon, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Sure. So right here we have our newly released motherboard. Uh, this was actually released two, three days ago. And this is our GAX99 SoC Champion board. Now, we've had actually a lot of world-renowned overclockers benching off this board. We have, uh, we have an overclocking zone over here as well, and we had a press release the other day where they had a full table of overclockers just overclocking on this board. Now, this board is obviously targeted towards overclockers. We've kept with our original color scheme, the black and the orange. Not only that, we've added some features such as additional pins to our CPU socket. But to give you guys flexibility, we've included a dip switch that allows you to switch between the two options. So that's definitely something you guys can consider. Also for our DDR4 uh, dim, dim slots, they're actually SMT mounted. So they're surface mounted terminations, which provide for better signaling, less uh, noise and interference. Cool. And can you talk about the, you know, so the uh, the extra pins? Uh, potentially, what could they allow you to do? So, I mean, uh, what is the, the advantage there? The additional pins, uh, it's good for the CPU as uh, some people have seen more stability. So, if you feel that you want to do overclocking, you want to test it out, it's definitely an option that you're able to do. Okay, gotcha. And this is a 2011 V3, right? This is a 2011 V3. Okay, and it's a SOC board? This is an SOC champion, correct. Okay, what does the SOC stand for? Uh, the SOC is basically one of our namings before. Uh, we have it in some of our other boards. Uh, people consider it as like super overclocked or something like that. Okay, gotcha. Cool. And uh, you said it just released. Uh, how much is it going for? Uh, it just released, so I don't have exact numbers for you guys, but you guys can probably expect to see it within Q1. Okay, and do you guys have a, like a price or anything like that? Uh, it, no. Like I said, it just, just released, so I don't have a number for you on that one. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And we're also looking at uh, a new uh, Gigabyte uh, Bricks box, Yeah, so uh, right here box, we right? actually have a Gigabyte Bricks Broadwell, not gaming. Oh, not okay. gaming, okay. So, this is our Broadwell bricks. Uh, you'll, we actually started our bricks during the Ivy, Ivy Bridge generation, so you'll actually see that this isn't our first time to the roadshow. So we have, we'll have it in i3, i5, and i7, and we'll have it in our standard, as well as in our brick storage. And you can see that uh, for the i7s, this is the one that we're showing, it has NFC enabled into it. And not only that, with the Broadwell, we've switched out our PCI Express for M.2, so you'll have better uh, signals, signal bandwidth for your 802.11ac, as well as for your, as well as for your Bluetooth 4.0. So what is what are you guys hoping to achieve with uh, NFC? Well, in this definitely form we we want to bridge that gap between the mobility side as well as on the desktop side. So we see bricks as a versatile compact PC but we want to make sure that people who have tablets people who are more into mobile they're able to interact and bring that connection and experience over to their desktop as well okay cool and uh, uh, you know before we've received uh, you know early uh, bricks gaming stuff like that and it is a very small form factor and one downside to that while it is really portable and stuff like that one downside is if you cram too much power into such a small form factor it tends to you know it can run hot uh, or loud how are you guys addressing that well definitely with broadwell we're looking at a cpu that is smaller in uh in die size so i believe it's a 14 nanometer now versus i believe a 22. <coughs> So that's definitely something that can help us uh, overall with the thermal issue. Also, the casing on it is different from what you would find in the previous one as well. It's a little bit different, slightly modified, so that, again, will help also. Okay, and uh, so I guess the biggest difference between this one and like the, the gaming is, you know, obviously he's using Broadwell, and there's no, you're not really pushing the, the Iris Pro graphics on this? No, no, no. This is just, uh, this will be using HD 5500. Okay. <laughs> and, and who do you hope, uh, I mean, who, who is this for exactly? Is it for... This is for all types of consumers. We wish that, you know, this becomes, slowly becomes like a desktop replacement. Something people use maybe in dorm rooms, in schools, or even just at home anywhere. Okay. And do you have uh, like a price and release date for this unit? No, it launched uh, as well with our X99 Champion board. Okay. So I don't have an exact pricing for you, but uh, expected around Q1 as well. Cool. Thanks, Leon. Thank you.